Someone asked the question on Facebook. Uh, one of the things that I'm missing the most about us not being together is hearing from you in adult Sunday school when you guys would bring your prayer requests. And uh, that was just a great time for us to connect as a church family and to pray for us, uh, pray for each other. And so uh, what we're doing now, uh, if you didn't know, this is important information, on the Ross Traver Bible Chapel homepage, there is a link at the bottom of the page to submit prayer requests. Mm -hmm. And so some of you have been using that, or you've been filling out the cards and, and mailing them to us. And so we have a list of those. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to go through and we're going to pray through the prayer request that you have sent us. Um, and we will invite you to pray along with us. So this isn't just David and I praying. This is our entire congregation. Uh, as you view this video, um, as we're praying, the, the prayer request will be written on the screen. And so we invite you to pray along with us as we go through this. And it's just a great way for us to share each other's burdens uh, in this time when we're separated. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take turns praying through the list. I'm going to start and uh, then David is going to go and then we're just going to switch back and forth as we go through uh, your prayer requests. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, we thank you for being good. And um, Father, every Sunday school as we've gotten together, I started the prayer time with a recognition that you are good. And uh, so many times we started and I said, Father, thank you for this building. Thank you that we can be together. Thank you that we can bring our prayer requests to you. And those were things that so many times we've taken for granted. And in this moment, we're not together. And uh, yet you are still good. And you are preserving us. And so I just want to thank you for your goodness, even in this. And I pray that you'd extend your protection and your provision over our church family in this time. Father, to get to our specific requests, I want to pray for George Cochran's son, Todd. Uh, uh, Todd lives with him and has struggled with different uh, medical problems and with addiction, and uh, I think even with his faith. And so, Father, I just ask that you would bring Todd to yourself in this time, that this would be a time of healing for his soul where he finds life in you. I pray your blessing on George and his household in this time. Father, we thank you for uh, who you are uh, and what you're doing in the midst of uh, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Father, we know that you are in control and you are still on the throne and that we can come before you as your sons and as your daughters, praying for one another and praying for our country and our world uh, as a whole. Father, as we think of uh, Ross Draver's specific list, uh, I do want to lift up the Blairs right now, uh, Lana and Rich, Father, as they are thinking and making decisions on whether they're going to move or not. Um, God, I do pray that you would give that family wisdom, mm -hmm. give them guidance of, of the decision making. I don't know what that's like, but I'm sure there's a whole lot of process uh, that goes into that. So God, I pray that you would just continue to uh, be their hope and be their vision as they seek what to do next uh, in this time. In Jesus' name. Father, I want to bring before you uh, Carol Ann Riddings and her son who lives with her, uh, along with his two kids, her granddaughters, five and seven. Father, he is agnostic. And so we ask that in this time of uh, trial and hardship, that he would... Um, just realize that the things that, that we so often take as for granted, that goodness itself is a gift from you and that you'd incline his heart toward you in this time. We ask your protection over the Riddings home as well. Please keep this disease uh, from them. I ask this in Jesus' name. Father, we also want to pray for Kathleen Leckenby. What a, what a wonderful lady she is uh, to the church and just to her family uh, and to everyone that she comes into contact with. God, I do pray that you would uh, keep her on her feet, keep her moving, keep her uh, in a routine, and watch over her health, Father, um, that you would just continue to give her good health, and especially for all of the um, seasoned believers in our church, Father, mm -hmm. that you would continue to watch over them uh, with their health. I pray that we would not forget to pray 
for them or to reach out to them, but that we would be your hands and feet to those people in this time. In Jesus' name. Father, there have been, um, there, there are a lot of requests coming to the Bible Chapel right now about people whose hours have either been cut or they've been laid off. And um, Lord, this is one of those big things that we just don't see coming. We kind of assume that when we go to work, we're going to get paid and that the job is going to be there. But there is so much that's unsettled in the middle of this. And so, Father, there's a couple of things I just want to pray in regard to this. I pray that. Um, you would protect the hearts and minds of our congregation from anxiety and from fear. That you would help us as a church family to rest in the fact that you are a good father and that you care for us, your kids. And that we would draw comfort from that and that we wouldn't live in fear in the middle of this. Father, I pray that uh, as these cuts come, that you would help us to not disengage into distraction, binge-watching stuff on TV or on our phones. Um, but, Father, you would help us to really be present with you and to enjoy you in this time and enjoy our families. Um, uh, Father, just I, I ask that, that this would be sweet time for us, as Ron has mentioned, a season of wonders. Um, Father, I do pray for your provision. I thank you that we're part of such a great church family. And that there are so many people who have been on that website and clicked the I want to help button. Uh, what can I do? And so, Father, I do pray that you would, as a church, help us to rally around each other in the way that we're already doing. That that would continue. That we might care for one another and see each other through this time. I just I ask your blessing on that. So, Father, keep us content where we are. Guard our hearts from fear and anxiety. Help us to enjoy this time of stillness. And please continue to provide for us and provide unity uh, in the middle of this time of need. Father, we also want to pray for uh, Betty Zenobi, Father. She has an unspoken prayer request for her daughter and her granddaughter. Um, so, God, we just come before you. Father, um, when we don't know what's going on, you are fully aware. And mm -hmm. so we have full confidence in your uh, power and in your knowledge of being the king of kings of, of over everything. Father, I do pray for uh, Betty's daughter and uh, granddaughter with whatever's going on, whether it's spiritual, physical, emotional, uh, financial, or whatever. I pray you would meet them where they're at. Father, that they would come before you. Uh, if, they're, if they aren't believers, Father, that you would work in the situation for the gospel to be shared to them. Um, if they are believers, I do pray, Father, that they would just be encouraged uh, by your truth. Mm -hmm. Father, that they would turn to worship and not anxiety. Um, Father, I pray that you would just be with Betty uh, as she is a voice of reason and a voice of truth in that uh, family. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Father, I want to pray for Jeremy, Melba Jean's son, who is in ICU, last we heard, and with pneumonia and possibly coronavirus as well. We ask for his healing and uh, protection from that spreading to the rest of her family. Uh, we ask that you would just uh, heal his body. We ask this in Jesus' name. Father, we also think of Vicki Mueller. Um, Al shared that she had a mini stroke a few weeks ago. Uh, with, a, with strep throat and C. diff and other medical conditions. And so, God, we pray that you, as the great physician, would be uh, healing her in this mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I pray you would uh, give her hope, give her uh, peace of mind in the midst of the constant uh, medical conditions. I pray, Father, for Al as well, that you would just mm -hmm. give him strength as he uh, serves and ministers to her in the healing process as a husband. God, that you would just watch over her as you do. I pray you would protect her heart and her mind in this uh, time, uh, that you would just fill her with truth, and that you would lead her and Al to a time of worship in this, in this season. In Jesus' name. Father, we want to conclude our time of prayer with just a praise. We thank you for what uh, you've been doing in Rich Blair. And with the positive report from his doctor that his tests are looking great and uh, regarding the cancer in his body, that, that, that he's really improving. And so, Father, we thank you for that positive test result. And we recognize uh, that you are good and that you love us. Oh, dear Father, we ask that you watch over 
our church family. Protect each one um, in this time. May each one draw close to you. You are everything good. Guard our hearts, guard our minds, we ask. Incline our hearts to one another in love, in unity, and in affection. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So church family, uh, be sure if you uh, have a prayer request, please let us know and we will be praying for you. We're going to be doing one of these videos every week. And um, uh, if you if it's a confidential request, please be sure to note that. That way we will pray for it, but not in this setting where we share it with the whole church. Thanks again for joining us and Lord bless you.